Hello Tubesters, it's me Gav and welcome to another one of my videos. Today we will be looking at Perry Miniatures 28mm American Civil War Confederate Infantry. Whew. <laughs> uh, I've done a couple of painted examples, I just thought it would make a bit of interest rather than uh, the usual, you know, spending ages looking at shiny metal, which you're about to do, but at least there's two examples that are painted. Uh, they're both from the, what have we got? We've got the ACW 37 box, or obviously they're in their little Perry Jewel jewellery boxes, and that's a command, I believe, and ACW 38, which is the the other bots. So this isn't, um, I, I, I just, I'd, I'd wanted to do this particular thing for a while. It's just going to be a little vignette. Uh, I'm just stuck on <laughs> what I'm going to do. Uh, I've got two options in my mind. Uh, and we'll see which one wins out. I'm not going to say it because, you know me, it might not happen. <laughs> but uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, over the coming months, it won't be for a while. It, I had all good intentions as always, but I'm just deep in the mire of whether I'm painting commission figures. I've even started, a, I bought a sprue of uh, plastic Victrix Gauls, ancient Gauls, um, uh, they arrived the other day and I've I snipped them off. They were five or uh, six, and um, you know, I've been busy tooling along with those as well in the background. I mean, these ACWs have taken me at least a couple of weeks uh, just picking up and doing a bit as I'm doing the commissions just for a bit of, bit of a change. Uh, obviously, I've also got the bust one in ten resin bust of the uh, Battle of Britain fighter pilot. Uh, that's gonna that was. All filled yesterday. Anyway, I'm going off tangent again, aren't I? <laughs> this is supposed to be Perry's. Right, so well, this is an unboxing, literally, uh, and we'll have a look at what these Perry figures look like. All right, guys, uh, you know, I said in the intro, you know, let's have a look what they look like. Well, uh, you know, these have been out a while, a fair old while, probably. Uh, you know what they look like, a lot of you do that, that do this type of stuff. Uh, but as I say, I like to put things on that are related to the channel, so there you go. Uh, we've got an officer, so this is from pack uh, 37. I've tried to make him, I put a bit more uh, lighter tones in his face because I wanted to make him look like a young bloke. I don't know if I've really succeeded there, but uh, let's just see if we can get some light down without bleaching everything. Done the metallics on this guy. Uh, they've not been, they're a bit more shiny still, they've not been uh, varnished yet. Uh, when I do varnish them, I'll wrap them up. Uh, these aren't going to be the ones I'll be using in the uh, little vignette. Now, you know, these are way over scale. I know they're, um, you know, I know that they're uh, for war gaming, so they need to be a bit more. Um, hefty, these you know. At first, I thought that was two drumsticks. <laughs> it was, no, it's the other one. I think you know, it's just uh, slightly over scale. I did try and file it down and pair it back, and then as I was doing it, I realised well, it's really stuck in his hand. So uh, I ended up get once I'd done a bit, I ended up leaving it at that. It was a lot more chunky than that. Giving him some Union trousers that haven't been dyed. He's got his mug there. And so that's what they look like with a bit of paint on them. And let's have a look at the unpainted ones. This is, as I say, the command pack that these two guys came out of. There's three more additional ones. Got a colour bearer. These do suffer from the usual cast metal castings that the Perrys have, which have all these worms over everything, which are blooming annoying. They've been it's something that people have we've all bumped our gums about for years and years, but it, it's never gonna change, so you just gotta live with that. They do clean off and on more simplified figures, as in uniform wise than these, they're not too bad because you tend to see them. But 
on more complicated. I remember doing their Koreans, uh, the heavily armoured Koreans that, uh, that they've got from the samurai era, and they were they were horrendous because there were so many bits of little armour bits on them and that, with all these little tiny worms over everything. You were fret, even after priming them, you still missed them as you were painting and found another one. So they, they are absolute pain in the bum, but. See, we've got more. We got more there off the canteen, and on the uh, bed blanket roll. <laughs> uh, is it? It is what it is. As somebody who likes to paint the faces, I only, I do find the, the the Perry faces are quite subdued, if that's a word. I don't know. Um, yes, says this bloke who's screaming his head off here, but. <laughs> He has got that is a moustache there, I think. Uh, let's see another worm there. I mean, they're not. I mean, because it's quite a soft metal that they use. There's a lot of tin in it, by the look of it. They they um, they clean off okay. You know, they're not hard to clean off. It's just catching them all. But I do find the faces. Uh, you know, when if you like to paint faces, um, there's not a lot to go at with them compared to some of the other manufacturers out there. And that's just my own personal opinion. But then again, most people want to just do a load of figures and stick them on the table, so you're not really going to be wanting to spend time making a, f a face look extra special. You just want to you just want to get them down and and get them on the table. So you know. There's another worm. Yeah, these are going to need a heck of a lot of uh, clean up. That's two, and then we've got another drummer. This was the guy I was going to use. I know there's the age-old thing with these that uh, you know the dr most musicians, drummers, I you know were sent to the rear to for casualty evacuation and whatever. Um, but uh, I think they still had they still had at least one or two for for drumming out orders and whatever. So and these are all going to be in the advancing pose anyway. So um, I'm happy with that. They made them ragged at the base there with the trousers. Again, we've got worms everywhere. More on the hats. But that'll suit my purposes. I so I, I just wanted something that I could make a vignette out of. So this next group, we can just in fact, let's just dump them all down the front of it. This is. Uh, number 38, which I managed to put uh, another colour bearer, so he would have been in the colour bearer. I apologise for that, I must have put him in by mistake. He's from the he's from 37, and he was the, uh, another colour bearer. Uh, socks, uh, like, the, like the drummer, socks. Uh, Pulled up over to his trousers. Cartridge, do a cat box there. Pistol tucked in while looking at it into his belt. So he should be going in that box, not that it really matters. Now these are the ones I went for, which was the. Uh, is it right shoulder shift? Uh, all in advancing. And I believe these have all got slouch hats. Yep. Again, this is all a bit wonky. It needs to be straightened out, but they've only been in the box, so use your mugs. Again, worms all over the uh, 
cartridge box. You get six of these. Again, it's a bit hard to, def you know, with the, the shine of the, the lights, but you get the general picture. Again, they're fairly. I do find as well these these are often quite pity and um, uh, I, I don't know they they take a bit of clean up, bit of work. I mean, in a sense, not hard. I've you know I've had some with mold, not Perry, but I've had some manufacturers with mold lines like the Great Wall of China that you know take a real battering to get down. Uh, these don't, they just they just take a fair bit of cleaning because you've got all this to look out for. Obviously you watch out your mould lines. But I do find them, let's see if we've got a, a pointy stick. I don't know, they, 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 I wouldn't say thrown together in a hurry, that's the wrong word for it. I don't know, there's, I, I don't know, there's, there's always something about, I'll, 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 I'll reserve judgment on, on, I mean the poses, they do always do great poses. Um, I don't know if it's the castings themselves, but I found with the other ones, uh, with his blanket roll, the drummer, uh, there was, it was it's not like cracks and I couldn't work out if it was actually in the in the the mold in the sculpting stage or in the the, the casting stage I say it's not they're not they're not cracks it's all it's hard to explain um, but hopefully as I say these will come up well this pack on there's a lovely variety which let's face it, in a Confederate unit you need, you know, you need, um, you know, they were really just supplying themselves really. So, uh, again, okay, that's got to be removed. We don't see that's a seam for the trousers. But you get this quite like pity type. So our last fella here with his bed roll. Obviously inside they used to keep all their uh, they used to keep all their bits and pieces you know rather than a pack they'd all be wrapped up in the blanket and then uh, and then obviously tied off they do need a lot of you know with the mold lines and, and the, the, the worms and that you really have to just take your time with these and put them down you know clean them through have a cup of tea and then try again. Yeah, just go over them two or three times with your your eye, you know, just to make sure you've got everything. Because there's nothing worse than either priming them, and then and then finding either a worm, you know, something like that 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 you've you haven't you, know, you haven't seen. And you start you put your paintbrush on them and think, oh, blimey neck, I've got to cut that out. That usually marks. Well, obviously it's going to mark the area you cut it out from. After the time you catch some paint round it as well, then you've got to put a dab a brush primer on it and restart so yeah just take your time these are the type of things I was on I won't say, I won't say cracks but you get a lot of that 
happened there as well. But they're not overly expensive, uh, and Perry's always produce a wide range of, of figures. Um, you know, so it's it. You know, you pay your money, you take your cho your choice. Really, um, you could go with the plastic figures. Uh, you obviously aren't going to get as many poses, probably. Um, but as I say, these are going to go for, it, for in a in a in a vignette. It'll just be these guys, uh, a single officer and a drummer and a color bearer. Um, obviously, advancing. And it's just a bit of fun, really. Just gives me a chance to paint something else for a change, and uh, you know, it's a. Uh, it, it's just a, it's just a deviation from from other stuff I've been doing. So, as I say, I'm not sure when these are going to come up on the channel, as in painted. That's the other thing. That bloody fluff stuff that they pack in with <laughs> it gets everywhere. Um, yeah, I'm not sure when these guys are going to be obviously painted or at least a few painted and shown. Um, you know, I just uh, I just wanted to get them in. You know, ready for the uh, ready for when I do finally get them done. As I say, they come up nice, and what I'll be doing is a is a, a variation on uniforms type of thing. As I say, you'll have some obviously all in button up, some grey. That's the whole idea, really. It just gives me a chance to mix up lots of colours, throw throw a few different blanket designs in, and. Um, and just just have a bit of fun with them really so guys thank you very much for joining me uh, on this unboxing of these Perry American Civil War 28mm metals uh, coming up on the channel we've got uh, an update on the fighter pilot bust as I say he's filled he's going to be primed either today or tomorrow probably tomorrow uh, we've got a bit of base work done on the tank uh, the T-34, uh, when I say a bit of base work, it is just <laughs> a bit of blue foam and put into strategic place to decide. It's not going to be a, some huge diorama, it's it's just literally to give a bit of context to, to the tank. Uh, we've got the 28mm Empress Miniatures of Vietnam uh, Marines. They will be finished off. I've just got the flesh to do on those and that the base coats are down on them, they just need the flesh and then just to clean up just go around them uh, they'll be and then they're going to be base but they'll be coming up obviously in the next the next week or so uh, and as I say I might throw up a, 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 a short video on a couple of galls that I've painted or am painting uh, depending on how long it takes me to paint them and maybe at some stage you might even have a look at these <laughs> these chasseurs I just uh, I put them all in the protective anti-dust box the other day and I just <laughs> I'll be bothered to get them all out to put them on the table. Uh, they're all on bottle tops, you know. You might you might just finally see them when they're actually all based, but we'll see. Guys, you take care of yourselves. You keep ducking and diving from that virus. Uh, keep doing what you do best. You get that get those brushes moving. Get the glue stuck to as much uh, parts, uh, as sprue parts as you can, as long as they're all in the right order. And uh, we'll catch each other very very soon on another video. Cheers.